lens subluxation is caused by a variety of etiologies, the most common of which are trauma and inherited diseases, such as Marfan syndrome, Wild Marcassani syndrome, homocystinuria, and idiopathic ectopia lentis. In moderate to severe zonular dialysis, intracapsular cataract extraction is implemented. In the case of small zonular defects, the common procedure is lens aspiration and preservation of the capsular bag. Another surgical option is the use of a capsular support in order to preserve the whole construction of the capsular bag equator and enable intraocular lens fixation. Another alternative is to use the AMED segment, a modified capsular tension rig segment, which was designed in order to facilitate surgical maneuvers. A conventional CTR may also be used and sutured directly to the sclera. However, capsule penetration with a needle may result in extension of the tear to the posterior capsule. The ASIA anchor is a novel capsular anchoring device designed to center the subluxated capsule by securing it to the scleral wall. The anchor is a PMMA one-piece uniplanar intraocular implant, which was developed and manufactured by Hanita Lenses in Israel. Unlike existing devices, which support the capsular equator, the unique design of the ASIA anchor provides a wide contact between the device and the anterior capsule. A conventional FACO incision is performed, taking into account the 2.5 mm width dimension of the ASIA anchor. Following the standard procedures, a capsularexis is performed. A 9O or 10O suture is inserted at the location of the desired capsular fixation. A straight needle is guided into the corneal incision, rotated 180 degrees while fastening to the anchor, and reinserted through the same incision. The capsular anchor is made of blue PMMA in order to facilitate its perception. It can be fixated either by wrapping it around the central rod or by threading the suture through the hole in the anchor base. The ASI anchor is gently pulled in order to place the central rod in front of the anterior capsule, whereas the two lateral arms are inserted through the capsularexis and placed behind the anterior capsule. The device thus works like a paper clip holding the anterior capsule between the central rod and the two lateral arms, providing a wide contact area between the implant and the anterior capsule. The ASI anchor is then secured to the scleral wall and the entire lens and capsule return to the natural central position. Lens removal by FACO emulsification can be easily performed using standard procedures in a cautious manner. After the removal of the lens material, an intraocular lens is implanted. For extra safety, an additional safety suture can be threaded through the distal hole of the anchor in order to keep the device from falling through the zonular gap to the posterior chamber. Once the implant is secured firmly to the scleral wall, the safety suture can be removed. In summary, the ASIA anchor can be easily and safely inserted during the standard procedure. The fixated capsule is secured due to the wide contact area between the device and the anterior capsule. Clinical trials on human subjects were performed. This is a case of a 35-year-old male with Marfan syndrome and bilateral clinically significant lens subluxation. The central capsularexis is done under highly viscous OVD. A 9O or 10O prolin suture on a 16 mm straight needle is inserted at the location of the desired capsular fixation. Using a 27 gauge needle, the straight needle is guided to the corneal incision, rotated 180 degrees, and reinserted through the same incision. Hydrodissection is performed in order to separate the lens material from the capsule. The ASI anchor is a capsular anchoring device manufactured by Hanita Lenses in Israel and made of blue PMMA. 
The one-piece uniplanar intraocular implant is 3 mm long and 2.5 mm wide, enabling an easy insertion through a conventional FACO incision. The central rod is placed in front of the anterior capsule, whereas the two lateral arms are inserted through the capsularexis and placed behind the anterior capsule. The assay anchor thus works like a paper clip, holding the anterior capsule between the central rod and the two lateral arms. The anchor is then secured to the scleral wall and the entire lens and capsule return to the natural, stable central position prior to FACO emulsification. The ring suture is buried and no scleral flaps are required. Therefore, lens removal by FACO emulsification can be easily performed in a customary but cautious manner. The standard chopping or any other technique can be used. After the removal of the lens material, a viscous OVD is inserted. In this case, a three-piece intraocular lens is implanted in the bag. At this stage, it is advisable to use a capsular tension ring to reform the circular contour of the lens equator. However, in this particular case, no capsular tension ring was used. It should be taken into consideration not to overstretch the tight capsularexis margin. The typical teardrop shape of the capsularexis points towards the location of the assia anchor. In cases of large zonular defects, two or more assia anchors may be implanted. For extra safety, an additional safety suture can be threaded through the distal hole in order to keep the device from falling through the zonular gap to the posterior chamber. As seen in the following procedure, the assay anchor is implanted using the safety suture technique. A thread is inserted through the distal hole before inserting the implant. Now, the assay anchor can be safely introduced into the eye. Once it is secured firmly to the sclera wall, the safety suture can be removed. One week post-operatively, the eye is quiet with a clear cornea. The suture is buried under the conjunctiva. One month post-operatively, the lens capsule and the intraocular lens are well-centered and stable.